okay so this is actually something that i i've been pretty interested in especially because with this whole pandemic going on a lot of people aren't working a lot of people are working from home so less people are driving less factories are open and uh i i'm like almost every day looking about looking things up about pollution and coronavirus um so it says here coronavirus has slashed global air pollution uh this interactive map shows how okay this is an internet okay so january 20 so Chicago, I'm, obviously I'm looking at Chicago first, but you can see here, New York here, LA. Um, I, 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 I'm hoping they're gonna show the other ones here. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the world, grinding to a halt increasingly large geographic areas and portions of the economy in an effort to slow the virus spread. The impacts have been profound on the ground, but government mandated lockdowns have also remade the atmosphere. Uh, satellite data from China, the first epicenter of the outbreak, and Italy, the second hotspot, have shown big drops in pollution following lockdowns that limited the movement of people and goods and factories' ability to produce stuff. With the pandemic now becoming increasingly prevalent in the U.S., Americans have already started moving less as mayors and governors have uh, turned to similar measures. In an effort to track the impacts, Earther assembled an, inter an interactive map. Is this clickable to... Oh, cool. So, okay, so this is from 2019 of December for 2020. So can I pick now? Huh. Yeah, less pollution. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Um, it's not as, wait, can I go to other parts of the world? Oh, I can. Shit. Oh, dude, look at that. That's crazy. Okay, so, wow, that's still a lot of pollution, even for, for March uh, March 20. Jesus, look at, look at how, how much less pollution. Australia? Yeah, less pollution, guys. <laughs> okay. Now I'm done. Now I'm done. Um, in an effort to track the impacts, Earther assembled an interactive map to explore the changes in air pollution and not just in the U.S., but globally. The map runs on Google Earth Engine and uses data collected by the European Space Agency's Sentinel-5P satellite, which circles the Earth capturing various types of data. It includes four snapshots from December 2019 through March 2020. Um the Sentinel satellite data shows nitrogen dioxide, which is a handy proxy for human activity. The rapid decrease we see in nitrogen dioxide due to COVID-19 is unprecedented. We are now witnessing a global experiment where one emission source is rapidly turned down, NOx, while other sources are still up or will decrease more slowly. A lot of atmospheric science will come out of this. I mean, you know, it's obvious, right? There's less pollution. Um, there's more in Denver. What's going on in Denver? What are you guys doing? Uh, California became the first state in the U.S. to issue a shelter-in-place order effective on March 19th. Uh, the resulting drop in pollution from January to March in the state's ma major metro areas is stark. Uh, Los Angeles is a huge source of pollution owing to its car culture, and the city's precipitous drop in pollution is clear. Hmm. The impacts extended across the border as well. Tijuana, which is intimately linked to San Diego, saw pollution dissipate to practically nothing. Yeah. Okay. The Northeast Corridor. I'm not going to read through all of this. I just, I mean, we kind of saw all this too. Let's see Chicago. Ain't shit happening here right now. <laughs> um The data here is a bit noisier, but some clear trends are apparent. Car-centric. Detroit has a big dip in pollution. Yep. Um, sprawling Chicago's pollution also disappears. One odd blip is a hot spot of pollution in Kansas near Emporia. That could be one of the data artifacts Dix mentioned or nitrogen dioxide emissions, possibly tied to fires that burn through the state's grasslands each spring. So yeah, you can see Monterey. Dallas, Houston. Okay. Um, 
interesting. Uh, I, I just, I just want to see how this, I guess for me, I want to see how this impact. I mean, obviously with coronavirus or COVID-19, there's, there's going to be, I mean, the death toll, right? Like it's something that I keep track of just cause I can't help myself. And that number rises every day, every time I check on it. Um, I also wonder how lives are going to get affected with, um, pollution, right? There's a, there's just so many different ways that this is going to go. And so it's not just one way, right? Like there's pollution, there's the coronavirus, there's the economics of people like losing their jobs, can't afford healthcare. They die that way. Um, there's just a lot of things to look at. I'm just really interested in how the whole pollution thing plays out with it. So, uh, 